343 to bring a community playlist into the MCC along with the first update and how to get your maps submitted and potentially added to this playlist. Stay tuned throughout the rest of the video here. So how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some more Halo information. If you love these informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date for anything Halo related and let's get right into the video here. So recently there was a contest on the Forge Hub website which you guys don't know. It's a very popular website website where people like to make their own forge creations and the post them on the website can create a little bit more of a community of people playing these ma created maps well 343 is taking note of these maps and there was recently a competition on the forge hub uh, picking out the best of the best when it comes to the recent mass mcc created maps and there was a list of 10 maps that were selected out of this playlist so if you guys want to download one of these 10 maps i will leave a link to the uh, forge hub website where you can go and download these amazing forge creations 343 took note of this and is even going to be making a community playlist much like in halo 5 with community slayer and put that into the MCC when the update does roll around for it. The three maps out of that 10 that they're going to select are the map Each Stroke, Epic, and Select. Oh, no, no, no. They're not done yet, though, because Postums mentions that there need to be at least seven other maps added to this playlist, and they're looking specifically for Halo 3 and Halo 4 creations. So if you guys want to potentially see your map put into matchmaking, or you want if you really like some you know Halo 3 or Halo 4 created forge maps by the community, you know, make sure to send them their way and submit them to 343. If you want the details of how to submit a forge map for 343 to potentially add it to the playlist for the community playlist in MCC, I'll leave a link to the Halo Waypoint post. You can follow along with the instructions on there and you can take part of this awesome community involvement here. And also these new Forge maps, these three selected maps have had their fixes or changes submitted to the creator. So they need to update these maps. And if these maps get updated in time, they potentially could be added to Flight 3.0, which would be amazing. So make sure to go out there and submit your maps for Halo 3 and Halo 4 to have an awesome community playlist for MCC. I think it's a great way to interact with the community and add some more content to freshen up the gameplay as well. So get in and put in your request guys and hopefully you get what you like. Now like I say, I always read your guys' comments for the most part and try to reply to most of them, but some comments need a little bit extra to fully explain what I'm talking about here so I figured I'd highlight a few comments from the previous video if you guys want your comment highlighted in the video just leave a comment in this one down below and I'll read it and if it's something I need to talk about I'll definitely add it to the video so one thing I do want to touch on from the last video I did is that some people are calling it clickbait because I said the one feature everyone's been wanting for Halo MCC and I think a lot of people confuse the difference between feature and content and when people, I, I think a lot of people figured that since they saw the word feature that everyone wanted added to MCC, they were thinking like ODST Firefight. ODST Firefight added to MCC would be content added, not a feature. A feature would be what I mentioned in the video, which I feel like it's a feature that everyone's been wanting, is ability to turn down the menu music. That's a feature, not content. And I think a lot of people were kind of maybe confused on that. And so I just kind of want to kind of clear the air on that as to why I chose the words I did for the title. Plus saying volume slider added, not nearly as exciting as finally a feature that people have been wanting, which is true. So I just kind of wanted to clear the air on that one. So the first comment we'll read here is from Mudkip454, longtime buddy of the channel here and streams and all that good stuff in between. His comment reads, I really hope 343 updates the forge for Halo 2 anniversary. It really pales in comparison to Halo 5, and I would agree with that as well. But I do feel like there's some kind of limitations there, obviously with using uh, Halo 3 and Halo 4, and also using the MCC on top of that, or the Halo 2 Anniversary version as well. Um, I do know that they're adding some bud changes and some, uh, I think maybe some budget changes as well to the forge in the MCC, but I don't know if they're really adding any like features or abilities you can do in Halo 5 to the MCC. I think that's going to be rather similar to where it is right now. 
Squally the Beans actually left a comment on my last video, which you guys don't know who he is. He's a prominent Halo Forger. He actually made Echelon, which is, which is now one of the HCS playlist maps. And so you can thank him for that one. And he says right here, I've been working with 343 on a BTB playlist refresh for a few months now. No ETA yet, but it's something that is in the lineup of updates for matchmaking. That's really nice to know. Thank you very much, Squally, for replying and letting me, us know about that. And I definitely wanted to share that with this video so more people get a chance to know about that. That, you know, people, some people at 343 recognize that, yeah, BTP is a little stale right now. Some new maps, new content would really help out, kind of freshen up the game a little bit. Especially since some rumors show that a Halo Infinite won't be coming out till 2020. That's quite some time with zero content for Halo 5. We need some more stuff kind of refreshing the gameplay experience here. So thank you very much, Squally, for the comment on that one. Halo, the Halo Messiah left a comment saying, talking about when I was saying about how uh, Ryan knew, which apparently is the right way to pronounce his name, and Spartan kind of got a bit of an argument on stage right after a match where uh, Ryan knew's team um, beats Spartan's team. And they kind of got in the face, kind of almost started a fight on stage where I was saying that's not really something that should be done on stage because it's really just unprofessional and unsportsmanlike. So the Halo Messiah here, and then some other people I saw in the comment section as well say, you know, I disagree, Kevin. Halo needs more arguing, more drama between teams. This is how you draw crowds like the old days. That I don't necessarily agree with uh, still. I just feel like um, you obviously can have, you know, trash talking that's, you know, in every single sport out there. But it's one thing to trash talk, it's another thing to try to cause a fight or get in people's faces about stuff like that. When you cross the line like that, it just kind of, honestly, it makes everybody look bad and really makes everyone look kind of immature. And I just don't think it has any place in uh, any esport for that kind of stuff, obviously. And plus, does Halo need more arguing? People have been arguing about Halo since Halo, well, since Halo 5's release. And it's just like, I just it's just too much for me right now but that's how I feel about the topic and surprisingly for this last comment you probably most of you guys probably know this person but it's late night gaming he commented on the last video just saying you're quickly becoming one of my favorite up and coming halo channels enjoy your laid back delivery dude thank you so much I really do appreciate it. those are kind words coming from you guys and coming from you late night that definitely means something because uh, I do enjoy your content, I watch almost all your videos, and so I really do appreciate coming by, checking out the channel, and the kind words just really kind of, you know, reassures me that yes, I am doing something right, at least a little bit, yeah, somewhere on those lines. But yeah, thank you very much for checking out the video. So anyways guys, that's the end of the video here, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below if you made it this far and what you thought about the video, if you had anything you want to talk about, leave it in the comment section down below, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And it might even be featured in the next video as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.